If we could ask you guys both to just give your names sure. so that we'll be able to differentiate later. Oh, uh, Holly's pretty. She has pretty, a beautiful English accent. I know. So. <laughs> and I have a high, like, Long Island voice. I'm from New York, so. Uh, <laughs> I'm so. Pamin Dinagra. This or not. Can you tell, me, tell us a little bit about your character on the show? Um, I, this is really fun with you, Sam. I know. Terrible. <laughs> Whatever Elizabeth would like you to tell us. Having me here. <laughs> uh, I play uh, Lucy Banerjee. Um, I'm a lab technician. I'm essentially playing Sam Neill, um, right-hand person who plays Emerson Hauser. And I'm sort of like the science and the brains. Um, She's on the inside of yeah. the operation. <laughs> how much have you told the cast about what's and how much have you got in your head for the whole season? I, I think if I've told them what I can, I have a, I mean, I, I, I feel, I, I had to write a massive document uh, about the whole show before we, the whole show was picked up, so I, 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 had a, I had a lot, but I've actually had all the actors, almost all of them, into the writer's room so that they could sit with us and we could talk about their character and we could say, look, this is what we have in mind. We were, there was a big separation on, on loss between the actors and the writers, and I sort of want us to work more as a team in the show. So we've, we've had a, a bunch of conversations, and, and, and uh, I tell them what I can, I tell them what I think they need. Some things that I'm not sure of, I sometimes hold back just because it's, you know, you don't want to send them down the wrong road. When you were originally conceptualizing the show, the early pieces of it, was it always Alcatraz, the location, was the definitive place, or did that come later? You know, the idea, the, the idea for the show was uh, the brainchild of Stephen Lillian and Brian Lindemann, and they brought that to Bad Robot, and then Bad Robot brought the idea to me. So the idea for the prisoners coming back from Alcatraz was always integral was always to, to the show. And then I just said, well, I would do this, that, and the other thing to it to, to mess it up. <laughs> Will there be something in the first season that goes into the, the background behind the time travel weirdness, or is it kind of going to be sure. criminal of the week? There's definitely going to be the criminal of the week aspect of the show. It is, it is, you know, the show has a very strong story engine, which is that these guys are coming back, and they're back, and we've got to get them. But at the same time, for it to be fun, we want to be, we want to find out why are they here? How did they get here? Why haven't they aged? Who sent them back? Who's behind? Them? And all that stuff, and, and also the characters are really important to me. They each have a very personal reason for doing the job that they're doing, and I want to get into that and find out what it is and, and see them, you know, either achieve their goals or not. But I, but I want to get to know them. And, I mean, this is a very much a character show for me. Do you have? A, like a set plan, like a five-year plan, a three-year plan. <laughs> do, you, do you have an ending point? Wait, what is that, that quote? You know, you want to hear God laugh, tell me your plans. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, but seriously, you're always a prisoner of ratings and things like that. Sure. Do, you, do you have an exit strategy? Do you have a long-term plan? I mean, like, what, I wish you, I had an exit it's strategy. A, it's a good idea. It's a tough, it's a tough situation yeah. when you're serialized. Yeah. Right? Absolutely. Look, you know, all we can do is we have 13 episodes and we're starting airing in January, and I, I just want to, you know, come out with the best. The most compelling 13 that we can, and we'll take it from there. I mean, you never know what's going to happen with a television show, and you just got to sort of do the best work that you can and hope for the best. And for me, I, you know, I'd love to be writing the show for a while. I, I find the subject matter fascinating. I love this cast, and I love Jack Bender, and, and I feel incredibly lucky to be in this, this creative pod right now. And I just I hope we get to keep going. Obviously, a very difficult question to answer with Liz sitting next to you. <laughs> what really attracted you to this role and this, uh, this series? The, these guys. The writing, obviously. <laughs> yeah, no, these guys really. It's um, it's it, it's just it's hard not to get excited when you've got somebody like Liz and JJ Abrams and, and now Jack Bender on board. It's, it's just a good pedigree of people. And then to hear that you're going to be playing Sam Neill's right-hand person is really not a bad gig at, at the end of the day. So um, it's. To me, that it was just, you just know you're in safe hands. <laughs> she walked in and I said, just, just, just get her. I mean, we'll do, anything we can do with her, just get her. Because I just think she's fascinating. She's such a great actress. And I, I mean, to have her as a part of this ensemble is fantastic. So the next question is, can you talk a little bit more about casting, why you chose 
certain people or how much did you have? Casting is always a crazy jumble of things, you know, it's like, it's about, I mean, the first person, the first question that, that I was asked was, Jorge, Jorge is looking to do another show, would you like it? And I said, I would kill to have Jorge, you know, we'll just, we had this role and it was sort of a different role, and I said, let me rewrite it, and I rewrote it for him, and, and so that was the, the first one that came along, and then they said, well, Sam Neill's in town, and he'd like to be, and I said, are you kidding me? All right, and we met him, and I was like, well, that's the guy. You know, so and then she came in and I said, well, you know, God, she'll do this, grab her. And then and then you know Rebecca in some ways was was the hardest and took the longest. And and then Sarah came in one day and, and read and I'd seen her in Sons of Anarchy and I I just said that's her, you know. And, and it was just about collecting the most interesting, fantastic people. And then they all turned out to be so nice. So it was it was a really lucky. We we did really well. And April Webster is, a, is an amazing casting director and we did really well with the show. I think. You don't get to you don't get to know a lot of heads. In, in a show like this, would you rather, as an actor, know more about where your character or where things are going, or yeah, I know, I know something. Or would you rather know less and just sort of? I as, think as there's certain go? personality things or, or certain um, like story points, like like agendas and things like that. I, I think is useful to know, but but to me, what's exciting is going to be like the reveal of of, of each episode. You know, hopefully, it's just going to open open you up to more exciting things, you know, week by week. So that's sort of what's intriguing to me. Cool. Uh, what did you learn from Lost? <laughs> Both, uh, you know, what you wanted to do on your next show and what you didn't want to do. It was a learning experience, obviously, one of the very successful show. But it was an incredible learning experience. And, you know, it's funny, you do these shows and every one of them, they just get more and more, in my in my life, and when Deb went to Lost, it, you know, they just get more and more ambitious, and it just made me want to do something that was, I, before that show, I would never have wanted to do a mystery show, but now I see why they're so fun, and I learned so much from watching Damon go week to week and, and invent these mysteries and have them unfold, it was just, you know, and now it just feels like to not have a show that was a, both a procedural and a mystery show and a character show would feel boring to me. <laughs> so I really like the feeling of this show, it feels very ambitious to me, and that, that, that totally came from being on Lost. Did you get to, I mean, did you did that factor into the amount you dole out each episode, like did you... Sure. The pacing? Sure. Yeah, and the show is different, I mean, Lost was an invention of A Story every week, the show has a built in A Story, and so we, we're lucky in that way, but it does, so we have to, you know, we really have to make time to put the other stuff in. I think that's the way you want to be in a show. You want to get to that stuff and, and just have there be enough of it that people are still engaged but not drowning them. Cool. Yeah, thank, well, you thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks a lot for coming. Thank you. Thank you.